but I thought of one super funny. <clears throat> uh, I hope nobody from my church tunes in on this story, but anyway. All right, so if you are a born-again believer and you go to church with Michael Allen. Keep Adam, watching. Keep, keep watching. watching. And judge him. I want you to judge him. <laughs> so back in 1995 or whenever we were, we, whenever we were there, uh, we had that ag shop class that was pretty lawless, pretty unsupervised. And this might have been in 94, 95. I remember being in like in the ninth grade or the 10th grade. Or something it's really like that. a thing that nobody got killed and they were seriously injured. Seriously. Like miraculous. Seriously. So... One day, we're in the egg shop class, and uh, I, th I think prior to this, I was walking through the parking lot, and one of the teacher's cars, somebody, and this was a big deal back in the day, this was maybe right prior for the internet, all you had was dirty magazines and dirty movies, but somebody <laughs> had brought one from home and had made copies. You could tell there were original pictures, and then there were copies. Somebody had ran this through the copy machine. <laughs> And somebody had got inside one of the, the teacher's cars and basically wallpapered the inside of the windows with this dirty magazine, <laughs> inside and outside. <clears throat> we gathered around this car. And so at Charleston, when you've seen two people gather around something, something was happening. Absolutely. And you go check it out because it's going to be entertaining. <laughs> and so now you've got a dozen people around this instructor's car. And it was the most hilarious thing that somebody had taken. And this had taken some time. This had taken a lot of tape, a lot of clear tape. This is, and it's going to take a long time to get, get rid it off. Of this. Yeah. And so later in the day, we're going to the egg shop class or what have you. By now, copies of copies have been made of these magazine postings. And the, 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 the blow ups and the images, they're everywhere now. They're in this chair, they're in this bathroom, they're in this hallway, they're taped to the snack machine, they're on this fire extinguisher, they're on people's lockers. And so <laughs> they had determined that it probably, most likely, started in the ag shop, where there's a uh, not too well supervision, and there is a unsupervised copy machine. Oh, you have all the resources you need there. If there was a possible area for this thing to pop off at, it's probably <laughs> going to be in our ag shop. That you wonder what takes so long for that to happen. So what took so long? Why didn't somebody do that years ago? But I'm glad you were there. That's a funny freaking story. So, well, th this is kind of the punchline is uh, the ag shop teacher comes in, sits us all down, gathers everybody from wherever we were hanging out at during that hour, sets everybody down, and he takes these copies. And, you know, we're kids. You know, we're just, you know, snickering as he's looking at these just one by one. One by one, he's going through every single page of the, every, everything that he collected in the ag shop room. And it's, it's like, why are you making us watch you look at these? What are you looking for? And he finally finds a blank one, and he's looking at it, and he says, um, everybody line up against the wall and stick your left hand out. No. -uh. Yeah. And so he goes, and he's looking Whoever made copies of this made a copy of them flipping the bird of their hand, oh, of their no. wrist, or of their or of their fist. So he's like, well, the guy making copies of these 8,000 naked <laughs> magazine photos has just made a copy of their hand. And if I can match the hand, if the glove fits... You must acquit. You must acquit. And so he's going... This is Fred Gregg with the yes. investigative skills like this? Just like that. Just like Dang. that, he put it together. And he's going through everybody's left hand to look for, you know, your, your hand markers. Oh, my word. Which are unique to every person. Yeah. And so you've got this huge black and white hand and he's going, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. And he gets to his guy. He finds the match. I want to know who it is. I'll tell you later. All right, good. He finds the match. <laughs> it says, and these were back in the days where these teachers had paddles. Yeah. Wood paddles. Well, and if there was paddles. ever a group in the world that needed it, it was us. Yeah. And so, oh my God, it was so hilarious. He tells this kid, he gets the match and he goes, you're the match. <laughs> of course, when you're 15, you're, you know, you're sweating. You know, there's no, you can't play it off. No, you can't. Yeah. And so he tells the guy to turn around and put his hands on the chalkboard for his paddling. He's and about he to live wears, with wears this guy's tail out. And he he sits back down. And I remember his the the sweaty palm prints from the chalkboard. Oh, the chalkboard. Yeah, from just getting, <laughs> for just being scared to death and being discovered. And now your parents are going to find out. Yeah. 
And so all yeah. those factors combined, and his it was just his sweaty palm prints that day. Man, and that day was, and it took probably those pictures were everywhere for that week. You know, every week uh, was yeah, just you can't some, get them all. They were just you know they're and all people probably continue to make copies of them and tape them. You know, on the back, the school bus rearview mirror, just wherever, just for kicks. So, and then that kid gets home, and uh, you know, the dad thinks, "Man, that's pretty funny," but he can't show him that. Mom's crying. Can't believe my baby did this. Car is probably one of my favorite dudes from Charleston. Like seriously, um, I mean, I, we hung out a lot, and yeah. I, I, he's one I probably wish I'd hung out with. Just kept hanging out with, but dude, he would have you rolling, rolling, yeah. telling stories about Paul Kendrick and stuff. Man, oh my gosh, <laughs> boy, I'd like to have all that lead. <laughs> You put all that lead for Paul. I don't know. I just like to have it. <laughs> and I just, I can still, I can still hear those stories. You know, it's funny. Josh, Shane, Jim, they just had a, a, a an art form of telling stories and uh, just fun to doing be with. impressions. Darren Good was could do those impressions, and <clears throat> they they were just they were witty. They were yeah, oh, absolutely way beyond. I think what a normal teenager is is smart or funny. They Absolutely. were they were just that next level of and, you know it's like everybody else they kind of feed each of humor. other yeah and they just feed off each other and it's just it's funny man good dudes though too and then you know I think in high school you there's no there's no real competition I don't think in high school I mean maybe athletically you know you may compete for a spot on the, you know a starting spot on the team or you may compete for a girl to a degree but like there's no competition in high school kind of like there is in or at Charleston like where there is in corporate America where everybody's just trash, you know, because mm -hmm. everybody thinks they want to get the next promotion. It was a good time, man. <laughs> for literally. But uh, thanks for tuning in again, and uh, keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing, all that great stuff. Thanks, and talk to you soon. And drop us a freaking funny story. Yeah, do that. Drop us a funny we story. Get, we get a few of those requests. We'll take requests. See you guys on the next time.